Shalom, Shavua Tov. <laughs> I had to have a moment where I just kind of um, stood, st not stood, sat, or just was still looking at the screen because, you know, I just crack myself up. So many of my my videos, you know, they have a, a still a still shot that they put to to advertise a video on YouTube and and some of them I've got like maybe that oh, my eyes are real big or, or my lips out or I'm just doing something funny funny face and it's good I think I like that but it, it got me thinking of of like taking a moment you know at the beginning of each video to just like be still or you know take the opportunity to make a funny face I don't know um, <laughs> Yes, so there is a song that I got to sing today in the service that I want to share with you. Um, but real quick, before I do, I also want to share something from um, this portion, for this tour portion. And, I, and I'm going to make it short, okay? <laughs> I am, because um, I want you to hear the song. But it's from Genesis Bereshit. Um uh, chapter 20. Not, not chapter 20, sorry. I was, I was gonna start and then chapter 23. Um, and, and I'm actually, I'm not gonna read all this. This, I, w I want you to take the time to read it. Um, if you haven't already, um, hopefully, hopefully you have, but Genesis 23, this, it starts out talking about Sarah um, how she lived to be 127 years, and we find out she's passed away, and Abraham mourns for her. This has to be one of the most important stories in the entire Bible. Actually, well, the whole thing is important, yes, I mean, but the reason why I stress this is because, uh, well, it's been going on since ancient times, but especially today, there is a, a mission out by people, people groups who are extremely anti-Semitic, extremely anti-Israel, extremely anti-Jew, Jewish, anti-Zionist. They often mix Zionist with racist, which is ridiculous, but I'm sure that many of you have heard of this. Um, and, and they say that, that Israel, Israel, was uh, taken from the Palestinians, that the Jewish people took the land. Um, well, first of all, everything in the world, in the universe, belongs to our creator. None of us, you know, uh, but of course I am aware of history, um, things in history that are hard to read about. But this right here... Uh, of course, as we know, people who know the history of Israel know that that, that was not the case. Um, and right here, this is the beginning of that true story that the Jewish people, that Israel was not taken or stolen, um, but rather that God perfectly, beautifully paved the way for Israel to be a land um, for God's chosen people. Okay. So that's what this, actually, this chapter beginning here talking about. So it talks about, um, then Abraham stood up from, uh, this was after he mourned for her, I'm going to verse 3. Then Abraham stood up before, up from before his dead and spoke to the sons of Chet, saying, I am a foreigner and a visitor among you. Give me property for a burial place among you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And as we continue on to the story, they tell him, we'll give you the land and... Abraham once again says, you know, I want to, he keeps saying, I, I want to have this land. And they say, well, we'll, we'll give it to you. And then he says, what's, what's the, what's the price? I want to know what the price is for the land because I want to pay it for you. And as we continue on, we find that yes, Abraham did in fact pay uh, for the land. Um, going to verse 16, and Abraham listened to Ephron and Abraham weighed out the silver for Ephron, which he had named in the hearing of, uh, oh, listen, oh, sorry, listen, and Abraham weighed out the silver for Ephron, Ephron, which he had named in the hearing of the sons of Chet, 400 shekels, 
of silver currency of the merchants. So he pays for this land. He did not take the land. Even what was offered to him, he did not take the land. Um, it was not something uh, he paid for this. And it's a very important part of, part of this because important part of the story, the story of Israel. Because God, I mean, God had promised Abraham this land. And even here, you know, Abraham was going to do things right and righteously. And, uh, and so he did. So yeah, very important story. Um, doesn't seem like much, but it really is. Um, so that's what I wanted to share before I did the uh, song. Um, there's just, there's a lot in here, as always, to share. Um, got to hear someone um, share today from from this in our congregation. It was awesome to hear. I learned a lot. Good stuff. So. Okay, so this song that I'm going to, to sing for you. Oh, yes, actually, in regards to this song, there's a scripture I want to read as well. Um, it's from Revelations. Or maybe maybe you can read it. Yeah, you can read it. <laughs> you can read it in your own time. Um, Re Revelations 5, 11 through 14. Yes. All right. Okay, so now for the song. Um, how is everyone? Is everyone doing good? You can respond in a comment. I know you can't really respond. Like, <laughs> I I may have said this before, but I've been curious about the live streaming. I don't know how that works, but I know this. You can do like a live streaming on YouTube somehow. Um, I like to watch. There's this there's this live streaming of uh of these little kittens. It's like a cat place. <laughs> I like to watch that. It's, a, it's interesting. I miss uh, I miss my cats, of course. I had two. Uh, some of you may have know that I had to um, say goodbye to them because when we moved, um, I had to. Uh, they they stayed with the people who bought our house. So, yeah, I cried a long time. I still still cry. I actually had a dream though a couple nights ago that one of my cats was in that dream and oh man I I'm gonna oh <laughs> I'm gonna start crying just thinking about it but um it was awesome because I was like wow God let me see um my kitty cat <laughs> in a dream <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> it was awesome though Someday I'll see my kitty again. <laughs> okay. Um, and this song, by the way, you can actually find this song on shamamusic.com in the store. Um, in your presence, it's called In Your Presence. It's 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 sold as a single to download. So, and it doesn't sound just like this because I'm playing it on my little harp. It's it's on a bigger harp in the, on the recording. <laughs> Thank you. 
sound of the wings of the angels rousing is of thunder clapping and oceans roaring. The angels never stop worshiping the King of Kings and by. Shalom, shalom. Even if you're not able to um, purchase the song, you can also donate with the blue P button in the right corner. Thank you for listening and Shavuot Tov, everyone. I love you all. Blessings. Bechot. Bendición. Shalom, shalom.